<clears throat> Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this JPEG on Facebook, and I actually grabbed for your for your information. I grabbed a, a different one, and this is relatively easy. It's it's kind of fun. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I've already started playing around with it. It, it traced okay. This is the part it traced. This is what I cleaned up in about 30 seconds to make it look pretty good. So I'm just going to go through some steps here of what I did and how I did it. So I'm, I've got my object. I'm going to go to bitmap. I'm going to resample. I'm going to, I've already put it to 300. It originally was 100. And I just press OK. I go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, black and white. So now it's converted. I'm going to trace bitmap. Outline trace, clip art, which I use most of the time, and it works most of the time to my advantage. Takes just a second. It traced okay. It's it's not great. It's not a very nice file. Then just hit OK. Your new trace version should be on top, so we'll move this one out of the way. And then, as always, I take a rectangle and fill it in with yellow and put it to the back of the page. If you don't have back of page, yours it would be under object, order, back of page. And you can see all the white. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab the object and I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to go ungroup all objects. Not just all, but all. Then I'm going to hit delete when I hit the white. Now instead of deleting all those whites, we're going to take a little step here it would be really hard to get all those whites. <clears throat> so we're going to use find and replace. I'm going to find and replace, which is under edit, find object, begin new search, next. I want to find a fill. I want to find a uniform fill, next. I want a specific, specific color. Click on this and get your eyedropper. Of course, it'd be nice if I didn't have it right on top of my drawing. Let's X out of here and let's give me a little bit more room. Let's go to edit, find and replace, find all objects, find new search, fill, uniform fill, specific color. And I'm going to use the eyedropper because it could be different than white. I clicked on the white, next, finish. Find all. And then you can X out of that and just hit the delete button. It deleted all your yellows or all your white. So we can get rid of our yellow box now. We know it's transparent. You're going to have to retype these letters. So what I would do now would be to use the freehand pick tool and pick around these letters. I'm going to put my nudge distance on four. Let's make it five inches, get them out of the way. I'm using my freehand pick and then just nudge it over. We don't need that piece. That's a piece of garbage. The freehand pick tool is pretty cool in this application to make sure you don't get any part of the snake you don't want. And then we're going to grab this guy, and we're just going to move him up. And then we're going to clean him up. There are several ways, and if you have Corel X7 and above, you'd be to your advantage to use the smoothing tool. I'm going to left-click on him, right-click on hairline, and you can see all the jagged edges. If you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool, which is super cool. I'm going to put it on one inch. And I'm going to grab the outside of the snake, and I'm just going to... Now, you are going to alter the, the snake up, but you've really got to. I mean, you, this wouldn't engrave. It would look pretty bad. And, and you, if you were doing this for yourself, you could uh, maybe make it a little bit less. Um, see, I went too fast there. Then just take your, your tool and make it a .25. And then do this eyeball. And just kind of go over it pretty fast till you get a smooth area. And then, 
take select it all I'm going to go back to the full pick tool and I'm going to color it in with black and remove the hairline now when you do that you might see some more bumps but you can still use the smooth tool on your object um, these are two different objects so you have to you have to actually click on your item that you're working on and for the video that's good enough And that looks pretty good. Now it did change the pattern of the of the snake. Whoop. We need to select it all and move it down. Now let's look at it and look at the difference between that and that. Now I left a few undone. If you do not have Corel X7 or above, you can use a shape tool. It's a little more time. But just click on your item and just remove these nodes, just delete them until you think they look good, like that one right there. You could, and you could even alter it. You know, it's going to be your drawing after you're done. It doesn't have to be exactly like it was. But that's how you do it. Corel X7 or seven and below or six and below. I'm going to do one more little part right here that needs a little work. But that looks pretty good. And then you would just do all, all the parts. You could do them all at one time, but I would suggest and then move your snake up and then do the other part. And if you use your nudge distance, it's going to be right where it needs to be. And then just retype your text and put it in that slope. And then retype this. And as long as you keep your nudge distance on the same thing, that will be exactly where it needs to be. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.